Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord for another beautiful day. We bless the Lord for giving us opportunity to be in his presence today. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Father, we thank you for showing us your love. Father, we thank you for fighting your uh, battle for us. We give all the glory. We give all the adoration. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. There is no one like you. Father, we praise you. Father, we lift you up. You are the almighty. You are the greater than the greatest. You are the higher than the highest. You are the almighty God. We bless your name, Father. Thank you for giving us the rain. Thank you for giving us the sun. Thank you for the day. Thank you for the night. Thank you for the strength to be alive. Thank you for those who are in the labor room about to deliver because their delivery will be easy. Thank you because of those who are in the hospital bed because they shall be healed. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for those who are on the journey because they will arrive safely. We appreciate you. We worship you. But thank you for those who presently now is night in their place. They are sleeping because we believe they will wake up well. Thank you for those who are just waking up because we believe the day will be strong. Thank you for your mercy over our life throughout today. We give all the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh, beloved, if you are joining this program for the first time, this is High Voltage Prayer Program. And this program covers two days. It covers today, the 26th and the 27th day. Meaning you are going to pray this prayer today, and you are going to pray this prayer very well tomorrow. It's a midnight prayer. You take your time to pray the prayer every night. Anoint yourself uh, when you, when you uh, start the prayer. Anoint yourself when you end this prayer. It will always help you. And uh, there's also uh, a process where we anoint ourselves in within the prayer. It always helps us. I pray that the power of God will be upon our lives. The glory of God will cover us. The mercy of God will be upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, we are moving deeper, deeper into the last age. And a lot of things will be happening. There will be a lot of doctrinal errors. There will be a lot of people swaying away from the grace. There will be a lot of many, many strange things happening. The only thing that can help us very well in these last days is for us to be a Bible student, study the Bible very, very well, and for us to be a, a prayerful uh, Christian. We must be addicted to prayer. We must be addicted to the Word of God. The Word of God is a light unto us and it directs our path. You must be addicted to the Word of God. Prayer is one of the life deepest mystery. We must understand that. Prayer is so great that the enemy cannot understand it. So prayer is something you cannot also joke with. It's going to help us in these last days. Prayer is the key in the hand of the faith. Prayer is the staff that is needed to work with God and to fight the devil. Prayer is the only thing that the devil cannot do. You understand that prayer is fellowshipping with God. So we must understand the power of prayer. The Bible says, Elias was a man subject to our passion, as we are. Something like a so subject to like passion, as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained off on the earth by the space of three years and six months. So all of us as children of God must enroll, must be, must enroll in the school of prayer. We must take prayer seriously. We must grow in prayer. We must pray for the anointing of prayer. We must pray for the engine of prayer. There is no substitute for prayer. You need to understand that. Prayer is releasing the energy of God into action. Prayer is not preparation for battle. It's a battle itself. So God does nothing but by prayer. So you must get ready to pray. Get ready to, to be on your knee. Get ready to move the hand that move the world. That is prayer. Prayer moves the hand that moves the world. So you must get ready to pray. And that is why this kind of program will always help you. Remember, the more you pray, the more you discover secrets. And the more you discover secrets, the more you have capacity to recover. And the more you recover, the more you begin to possess your possession. And the more you possess your possession, the more you begin to manifest gloriously. I welcome you to the arena of prayer. I welcome you to the I Voted Prayer Program. And I want to tell you that you are going to have awesome testimony. We have received a lot of testimony, more testimony on daily basis of the mighty move of power of God through prayers. And you are going to have more testimony 
you are going to be the next one to be to be the testifier in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to take a song that you love and sing it to praise Him, sing it to worship the Lord. Aha! I will praise Him for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him for everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him for everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him for everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him for everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. Get ready right now as we enter into this prayer arena. Shout this one loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, strengthen my body, my soul, and my spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, blood of Jesus, I build around me the edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, built around me the edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, built around me the edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, built around me the edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, built around me the edge of fire. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, built around me the edge of fire. In Jesus' name, we say, Father Lord, let your angel encamp around me and my family. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, let your angel encamp around me and my family. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, let your angel encamp around me and my family. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, let your angel encamp around me and my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O Lord, let your glory cover every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let your glory cover every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let your glory cover every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let your glory cover every aspect of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every demonic vessel that the enemy is using against me, run mad. In the name of Jesus, every demonic vessel that the enemy is using against me, run mad. In the name of Jesus, every demonic vessel that the enemy is using against me, run mad. In the name of Jesus, every demonic vessel that the enemy is using against me, run mad. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against my family. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against my family. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against my family. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every strong man of death and hell assigned against me in jesus name we pray say i remove my destiny aha uh-huh. from the control of the evil strong man in the name of jesus i remove my destiny from the control of evil strong man in the name of jesus i remove my destiny from the control of evil strong man in the name of jesus i remove my destiny from the control of evil strong man in jesus name we pray aha uh-huh. thank you say i cancel every verdict of death for me and my family in the name of jesus i cancel every verdict of death pronounced upon me and my family in the name of jesus i cancel every verdict of death pronounced upon me and my family in the name of jesus i cancel every verdict of death pronounced upon me and my family in the name of jesus i cancel every verdict of death pronounced upon me and my family in the name of jesus i cancel every verdict of death pronounced upon me and my family in jesus name we pray say blood of jesus Remove my name from the register of tragedy and untimely death in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, remove my name. Remove the name of my family members from the register of tragedy and untimely death in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, remove my name. Remove the name of my family members from the register of tragedy and untimely death 
in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, remove my name, remove the name of my family members from the register of tragedy and untimely death. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, remove my name, remove the name of my family members from the register of tragedy and untimely death. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, remove my name, remove the name of my family members from the register of tragedy and untimely death. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget as we are praying this prayer, you'll be personalizing it and be praying it for yourself. Say, expectation of witchcraft powers concerning my family. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Expectation of witchcraft power concerning my family, scatter in the name of Jesus. Expectation of witchcraft power concerning my family, scatter in the name of Jesus. Expectation of witchcraft power concerning my family, scatter in the name of Jesus. Expectation of witchcraft power concerning my family, scatter in Jesus' name. Pray that person that is listening to me now and you have been experiencing Mount Odor, lay your hand on your chest and pray this prayer. Say, arrow of Mount Odor fired into my life from witchcraft coven. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Arrow of Mount Odor fired into my life from witchcraft coven. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Arrow of Mount Odor fired into my life from witchcraft coven. Go back to your sender. 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 Arrow of witch arrow of Mount Odor fire into my life from witchcraft coven. Go back to the sender. In Jesus' name, please. See your hand on your chest. This is number two. You will say, uh, are you ready now? Say, plantation of witchcraft in my body. Be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Plantation of witchcraft in my body. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. In Jesus' name, pray. Pray this prayer for about five minutes each. Aha. Uh-huh. You now shout this one now with anger. Say, you mount odor. Program into my life to disgrace me. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. You mouth odor. Program into my life to disgrace me. Lose your power. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Now you are going to smite your chest three times. One, aha. Number two, two, aha. Number three, aha. Say, demon of mouth odor, aha. In my throat. Get out by fire in the name of Jesus, demon of Mount Odor in my throat. Get out by fire, get out by fire, get out by fire, get out by fire, get out, get out, get out by fire in Jesus' name. Pray this prayer. I have prayed on Mount Odor now. If you are suffering from Mount Odor and you have tried, you have used everything, you have uh, met a doctor, you have met them. Uh, uh, dermatologist, you have uh, used uh, perfume and it has not gone. Pray this prayer very well. Then the oil I'm going to pray on now, you just drop the oil on your tongue and uh, lick it a little bit. Then you continue the prayer. Uh, you continue the prayer. Uh, you can also add this one to it. You can say, Coven of witchcraft assigned to disgrace me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Coven of witchcraft assigned to disgrace me. Scatter in Jesus' name. We pray. While you pray that prayer, you pray for five to ten minutes. Then you will now shout, say, Owner of evil load of, of mouth odor. Owner of evil load of mouth odor. Did you hear me now? Huh. Owner of evil load of mouth odor. Wherever you are, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Owner of evil load of mouth odor. Wherever you are, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load of mouth odor. Wherever you are, Carry your load, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load of mouth odor, wherever you are, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load in Jesus' name. We pray. If you if you uh, do that prayer very well, uh, you declare fasting. You can use it for five to seven days with fasting. Uh, you will notice instantly that the arrow fire into your body, causing the mouth odor will get back, go back to the sender, and you will be free. Thank you, Father. Aha. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lord. Bring out your oil and your water. Father, I pray that this oil shall be anointed and become the oil of power. The Holy Ghost will breathe into this oil. The water will be mixed with the blood of Jesus. The anointing of power, the anointing of deliverance shall enter into this water, shall enter into this water, shall enter into this oil. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fill the oil and the water. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. If you have mouth odor, you just drop it on your tongue 
and you pray that prayer very well, and you also start from tomorrow, declare a fast, and you can do the fast for three, five days, seven days, all depend on you, all depend on how fast you want this. The fasting will make your spirit man to be alert, and will make you to concentrate, and you'll be able to pray more, and the things will be uh, easier for you. I pray that God will give you testimony, and at the end of it, you are going to come back and rejoice and share testimony with the brethren, with the children of God worldwide, uh, all over the world, in the name of Jesus Christ. Aha. Now anoint your chest and lay your hand on that chest and shout like this. Say, sickness and disease in my blood. Get out by fire. Go back to the center in the name of Jesus. Sickness, disease in my blood. Get out by fire. Go back to your center. Go back to your center. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, if there are organs in your body that are not functioning very well, rub it on that place. Uh -huh. And lay your hand on them. Pray these three prayer points. Say, I withdraw the organs of my body. You can mention that organ particularly. I withdraw the organ of my body from the control, from the control of witchcraft power. I withdraw the organs of my body from the control of witchcraft power. I withdraw the organ of my body from the control of witchcraft power. I withdraw the organs of my body from the control of witchcraft power. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number two. Uh -huh. You will say every cauldron of witchcraft. Cauldron is a part of witchcraft. Every cauldron of witchcraft. Cooking any organs of my body. Break in the name of Jesus. Every cauldron of witchcraft. Cooking any organs of my body. Break. In the name of Jesus, every cordon of witchcraft, cooking any organs of my body, break, 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 break. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now you will now pray the third one. Say, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, eating the organs of my body, vomiting by fire. In the name of Jesus, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, eating the organs of my body. Drinking the blood of my body, vomit them by fire, vomit them, 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 vomit them. In the name of Jesus Christ, you can also be specific. If it's your liver, you will say, eaters of flesh, eating my liver, vomit them. You will you will stay on that prayer for for about ten to fifteen minutes. You say, eaters of flesh. Eating my liver, vomit it now, vomit it now. You will be saying it as if you are confronting a personality and you are squeezing the neck of that personality to vomit it. Aha, uh -huh. eaters of flesh, eating the liver of my body, vomit it now, 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 die, vomit it now, vomit it now, vomit it now. When you say very well 15 minutes like that, you say it like that for 20 minutes, and you can also specifically declare a fast. Five days to seven days, praying that prayer alone, you will experience tremendous freedom and healing uh, from this witchcraft-sponsored disease. I pray that God Almighty will liberate us from the captivity of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, we've started a topic on dealing or destroying the power of bewitchment. Destroying the power of bewitchment. There is something we know as bewitchment. When a bewitching, a bewitching power is working against someone and that person is put under bewitchment, it can be very dangerous. The whole Galatians were put under, under bewitchment and it was very, very dangerous. The Bible says, you foolish Galatians, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Meaning that someone can bewitch another. A group of people can bewitch person. Who has bewitched you before your very eye? Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. You were there, you saw it. But who has bewitched you now to believe that that is not true? So, meaning that bewitchment can make somebody to deny the truth. That is where we are going, so that you can understand it very well. Bewitchment can make a man to say that this woman I marry is not the one I'm supposed to marry. It's bewitchment. Bewitchment can make you to deny the truth. You have known the truth of the gospel before, but immediately you are under bewitchment, you begin to deny the truth. You will be speaking lies to yourself. So, Bewitchment is a terrible thing. 
is a terrible, terrible thing. When somebody is bewitched, it means that that fellow is operating under evil control. That person is operating under evil control. When somebody is bewitched, it means that that person is operating under witchcraft power, influencing him through bewitchment. You must understand that one. So, beloved, we need to really cry unto the Lord in prayers <laughs> because we are in the last days. The, those who are under bewitchment, they experience continuous confusion of the mind, continuous confusion of everything you can say. They will lose self-control. They will not obey the truth. They are listening and obeying strange commands. They will lose, they begin to experience loss of income loss of position, loss of reputation, afflicted with strange disease, they begin to experience continuous fatigue, continuous accidents, they begin to have emptiness within, there will be continuous anxiety, there will be deep stress, confusion everywhere, because they are under bewitchment. The bewitching power is tormenting them. They are always involved in error. They will be involved in doing wrong things. You have corrected them now, they will fall into it again. Until the bewitchment working against them is destroyed, they will not be free. Understand something very well. Every geographical area has its own satanic, satanic technology peculiar to that area. You are, an Af you are an African man. You are from Africa. You must understand that there is something called bewitchment. Despite your, uh, your Queen's English, understand that when you are under bewitchment, you are, you are not under yourself again. You are not under control of the Holy Spirit. You are under demonic influence. You are under demonic torture. You are under demonic oppression. You must understand that one. I am praying for somebody here. If you are under bewitchment, I command you to be free today in the name of Jesus Christ. That bewitching power working against you shall be destroyed. The yoke of bewitchment shall be destroyed. The instrument of bewitchment in your life shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, any power using charm to bewitch you, that power shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, bewitchment is when someone uses evil power, like witchcraft, to charm somebody, to enslave that somebody, or to mislead him, to, to mislead him, sorry, to mislead somebody, to direct him to do the wrong thing, to, to control him. And he will be doing it, and he will be saying that is the right thing. He will be saying that is the right thing because he's under influence of bewitchment. Do you know that a person can be bewitched? A place can be bewitched. A land can be bewitched. When the land is bewitched, anything you put on that land will not prosper. A material can be bewitched. An item can be bewitched. An instrument can be, can be bewitched. Animal and plant can be bewitched. All living things and non-living things can be bewitched. Business can be bewitched. Part of the body can be bewitched. A house where somebody lives can be bewitched. When a land is bewitched, crop planted on that land will not do well. Houses built on that land, those who pack into that houses will not, build, will not do well. Business done on that land will not do well. That is why we used to pray on the oil. We would tell them, put it on that, or put it on that land. Pour the oil on that land. Because immediately we pray on the oil and you pour it on the land. The, the strange and demonic occupant that has that have inhabited the land through bewitchment will vacate immediately and the place will be productive. Beloved, we have to gather ourselves together. We have to develop spiritual muscle to move into the realm of power in these last days. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Tell the Lord to liberate us. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Take that oil and put it on your center head. Lay your hand on that head. Say every evil pronouncement. Uh -huh. Manipulating my destiny. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Every evil pronouncement. Manipulating my destiny. Lose your power. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now lay your hand on your chest. Say instrument of bewitchment in my life. In the name of Jesus, instrument of bewitchment in my life. In the name of Jesus, instrument of bewitchment in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Spend quality time on each of these prayers and you will see what the Lord will do. 
Father, we thank you for what you have done. We appreciate you for this series we have started and for guiding us. We pray that your people here as they pray, they will have a lot of testimony in Jesus. They will pray. You can get back to us on this WhatsApp number 0802. 0802- 336-9298 I fellowship at Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry and our international headquarters is at number 13 on last symbol street Unikesabuya by Lagos, Nigeria here our father and the Lord uh, the set man for this commission the general overseer of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry Dr. D.K. Ulukoya minister with special grace and deliverance and a lot of people receive their Easter, receive their deliverance instantly you can also visit any of our branches. They are all over the world. Go there, they will assist you. Our pastors are friendly. They will guide you. I remain your good friend, Pastor Emmanuel Akiola. God bless you in Jesus' name.